download rates enhances Sage 300 ERP functionality by fetching exchange rates from providers such as Oanda, converting those rates to Sage 300 exchange rates, and storing them in multiple company databases. Any number of download jobs can be automated as Windows scheduled tasks. The user interface that you see here allows you to edit settings, which are stored in an XML file. The XML file name is passed as in as a command line parameter when setting up a Windows scheduled task. Authentication information that is needed to run the task is encrypted in the XML file. You can also download rates directly from this UI as we'll show shortly. A provider and a range of dates is selected. There's a provider specific tab for authentication information for the different providers. And let's look at the rates themselves. Functional currency column, this is typically called the to currency by a provider and the source currency is called the from currency. The rate type column is, means nothing to the provider, uh, but is in fact the rate type in Sage 300. And the rate to use can be either bid, asked, or average. Some providers like Oanda will provide both bid and ask rates, and the average is the average of those two rates. If a provider only provides one of those rates, uh, it will be taken as both bid and asked. The rate adjustment column is important to understand from an accounting perspective. Providers supply interbank rates. A company will never get this rate on a transaction. So adjusting the rate up or down will enable a more accurate estimation of receivables or payables. By unchecking the enabled column allows you to retain setup for future use without actually downloading and storing those rates. The propagate rates to all companies allows you to control the downloading of the rates so that they're stored either in a single company or in all companies that share the same system database. Note also that multiple entries can be made in the grid with the same from and to rate, but a different Sage 300 rate type used for a different purpose. Retry and notifications are robust and in common with many other Tyrox applications. Let's see the program in operation. I'll click the download button and proceed. And you'll see it's going through a sequence of connecting to Oanda. Note that since we're using the Oanda test account, the rates are historical and are not stored in the Sage 300 databases. Uh, this is noted in the log and the rate is not called out for this reason. That completes a quick look at download rates. Please visit the Tyrox website for more detailed information about download rates and other Tyrox products.